Alright. Time for a fiddlesticks game. I will be playing against the Ka here, who seems to be going for a burst lethality build. Which makes sense against our team, to be fair, so yeah. I'm gonna go for Dark Harvest. Does make my early game fights a little bit better, but for the most part, has still a problem. Uh, the good thing, however, in this matchup is that I do not have to deal with him being able to cancel out my... I don't have to recall, actually. Him being able to cancel out my um, my W, or my ult, for that matter, because he has no CC. So that's really good for me. I'm going to place that right over here, and then we'll go over there. Seems that Tristana's going for some push type of angle, so... What is this, man? Are you kidding me? Really? They're gonna have to leave, right? Surely they don't go for anything here. Hard used. Tristana is in lane, so... A little scary, but it seems that they are gonna go for the bot side here anyway, so I should be good. I'm gonna most likely have to smite this regardless, depending on how you know, spot it. I can... I mean, it's gonna smite it anyway. Tristana just pushed the entire wave, which is... Probably not good because Soraka now misses a ton of experience. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out for them, really. I mean, I guess if Brand doesn't get any experience either, it's a, it's like fine. Because Brand has to walk around now too. Because both AD carries got both of the uh, entire minion wave XP. An interesting way to go. Ooh, Seth's in trouble. I think Seth might be dead here, most likely. Okay, well, I mean... That's one way to start the game, I suppose. Uh, for six, when it comes to clearing your... What? You won that? Holy. Uh, for six, when it comes to clearing your jungle, you basically just want to make sure you don't cancel your drain and that's it. For the rest, you don't have to worry about anything. Because uh, if you cancel your drain, you're going to waste an instant, like, 10 seconds in your jungle clear, which is uh, absolutely ridiculous. Like, definitely do not do that. Don't click anything. Don't do anything when your drain's active, and that's the way to go. Uh, ideally, going for a full clear is the way to go as well, because you need the experience, obviously, hitting level 6 as quickly as possible. I'm going to do my Gromp first here to have a better respawn for the next jungle rotation. Uh, w does missing HP damage, so if you want to smite, like, kind of early-ish, you can do it before your W ends, so you do more damage. Which would kill slightly faster. No gank potential on mid, but potentially on top lane here would be would be possible. Let's go up. Okay. I'm gonna walk over this way. Hit this fear. We'll just drain him to death. Very beautiful stuff. Just needed to look for an angle. I was initially seeing if he was going to go up, but he didn't really do that. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to loop around here. Should be able to get the cinched. I initially tried to land the fear with E, but I got spot out of vision first. Probably due to the turret. I just had to do it with Q afterwards. Uh, we know for a fact cast bot side because he cleared top scuttle. He went for the mid lane gank, ran through bot side or ran through to go to bot side. So I really don't want my bot lane to die to a random car gank at this point. Good. And he shouldn't die to this realistically. A car is like the longer car waits there, the better. And he can kind of play with it a little bit as well. That'd be, that would be would be really good as well. And with that, I mean like she can kind of like go back and forth towards the bush. You know what I mean? So uh, she can like bait the car into staying. Perhaps that would be kind of nice. I'm gonna go for my Raptors first. That's gonna hit me level five, but also because car might be here, which he wasn't. Boltens is going to go in. I don't know if that's going to end well for them, actually. That guy was going to be on my Raptor shit. It doesn't even hit me level 5. Okay. Either both dead. No, they're not dead, at least. Okay. Silence. I'm going to have to walk past and just leave. gonna drain over here make sure to get hit there by the brand oh come and i didn't get my w he should be dead though right 
Uh, I, I made sure to get hit by the brand W, so he got turret aggro, and I can get a turret shot to actually help me kill him, if that makes sense. Didn't hit the Jinx, unfortunately. I was trying to play that in such a way that I could, like, sneak out as much kills as possible, but... Yeah, didn't really work out exactly as planned. I knew I was most likely gonna die because of that dive angle, but I was hoping to, uh, like, hit the Jinx before she would have gotten... Well, you kind of probably understand what I was trying to do. Trying to kill the brand with the getting hit by W, but then I got hit by the brand stun, which meant I couldn't use my W again to actually save my life against Ka. So it just barely didn't work out. I still got like one kill as a trade, so it's not too bad. But it's not exactly the way I was planning that, unfortunately. Is what it is. Oops, Scuttle should respawn relatively soon, so we're gonna go for that. We should hit level 6 off this as well. There we go, perfect. I just needed the ping specifically for the Annie to walk towards me. And he didn't have much mana, so Kyle's most likely gonna go for the play there. Uh, without backing down. So as long as Annie just paths correctly towards me, I can just ult, get the fear on him, and he should die. I should go mid lane here. Go teleport on Annie. I'll get the ward cleared. Make sure I don't get hit by a Lux Q. Might as well soak a bit of this XP. Okay, good. Smite that to be safe. Right. Some XP. Junglers pre-40 minutes get a significant reduction in his experience, so it's not great. But it's better than nothing. And I was planning to go towards my bot side camps anyway, so... Not much of a hassle, you know. I think that the gank I did on Singe basically finished that lane off completely. I mean, Set was all like Set already won that initial play, and then after that, Singe lost a colossal amount. Now he's 30 CS down. Quickly clear this, get the level up, and then go bot. As in the area. That top lane's done for, that's good. Very, very good. Always nice to see a gank pay out this well. Could be doing dragon, perhaps. That's very unfortunate with the uh, minion kite there, because they instantly know I'm here now. I mean, I guess they would have guessed with me placing the thing anyway, but... I figured he was doing dragon. Just need Tristana to go for this. Need the dragon to reset here as well. Need to walk over this way, because Ka's gonna be on any. Can I get the silence hit? I think I missed. Any? Yes, perfect. I just barely did enough damage for that one to work. I think I may have actually gotten the silence hit. Ah, flash heal. That's fine. Flash heal for my old cooldown is not too bad. Please. Help. I, I really need Tristana to be here, to be honest. I cancelled my drain. This is going to take absolutely years. Please. I need her now, especially after cancelling my drain. Please, man, come on. <laughs> oh my god. This is taking too long now to the point where Ka could be here to steal this, and that could be a big risk. You can't solo Drake, dude. He, the turret was already, uh, the minion wave was already in turret. It's gonna take me too long there if the enemy team reacts to that, especially after cancelling my drain. Uh, it, it's just a problem. That really shouldn't be a problem as long as Trist rotates, because she already had the wave pushed anyway. Like, Soraka's there, sure, you get like, that's fine and all, but it's just about a time factor there, because that isn't going to be dead forever, you know? It's really annoying. He, uh, did he flash for that one? I think he actually flashed to get the scuttle there. I didn't really think, I did, think he did. Can I get the any ult? Can I just get the E? Wow. Zet, uh, Seth pulled him out of the E, so I didn't get that, and I didn't get the fear, and so I don't even get an assist. Feels bad, man. Eh, well, it's okay. I guess I can just go for Rift Arrow. What in the... F 
You are kidding me, right? <laughs> Yo, what is that? Ult uh, teleport use, sorry. Ult use, no, it's not, not the correct one there. That teleport's ridiculous. What the... All right, then. Jesus Christ. I think that's the biggest waste of teleport I've seen in my life. Because the wave wasn't even under a turret, right? It's not like he's even teleporting for, like, a wave that's already in turret or something. It's just like... Wow. <laughs> but don't yoink my gold now. What the... All right. Unbelievable. I just don't know what I just witnessed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm... Very far ahead of Kai right now. Okay. I have a lot of gold, so I definitely need to back soon. I should have my uh, item here. It is perfect. Got the rocket belt. Basically, you just want to stack as much magic penetration as possible on fiddle sticks. Because yeah, that is like you have a high amount of base damage coming out of your ultimate, so the more magic pen you have, the better. I could just go bot lane here. Soraka's top, they're most likely gonna push for bot turret. If not just Jinx, like brand and Jinx together, and I should be able to just ult in and kill the both of them. Remember that I cannot use my we just cleared that, so I just built here. Perfect. It's all about getting a good angle there. I use my rocket belt to get in a better position, flash to get in a better position. And as long as they like hit me with CCs after Ooh, this is bad. I especially after using that. Do this. I still have full watch as well, so if I have to use that, that's fine. He can't like he wouldn't have enough had wouldn't have had enough damage to kill me there so i wasn't worried about pressing stopwatch if i was gonna press stopwatch it would be when he commits to a dive like actually this is just me knowing exactly how much damage a cow will do as a champion uh based on any position in the game because i just played so much of that champion so i knew he was never gonna kill me there with whatever he did there i wasn't worried I should use the herald on mid lane before the third place disappear, probably. That's awkward. Guess I used my rocket belt there just to make sure the red died. I had 10 seconds for the entire herald to be used. If I place it within turret range, it'll hit turret within that time frame. Let's just do this. I don't really want to split this gold with a Soraka, to be honest, but I guess it is what it is. I would have much rather just split it with my Annie. Really? Okay. With that, so I get the assist. Okay, I don't think this is actually going to work out too well for Set. Oh, oh I got the assist. That's all my stacks now on the uh, Ultimate Hunter. That's why I wanted that. That's just, this is bad. Clear that guy away from me as quick as possible. Grand Flash, okay. Use it over the wall here to have vision, but also to... Uh, if It's most likely going to be warded in this little corner there. So I can use it there to uh, yeah, deal with that a bit better. A big shutdown. God just got a thousand gold that I can actually make a pretty big difference in a game. Like a thousand gold is a lot of money to gain from that. Could be a problem. My bot lane isn't that far ahead either. This game is. Yeah. I don't know. It's actually kind of even. Like, sure, I have a colossal lead and my any has like a reasonable lead. But that thousand gold Kaj just got, like, could potentially pose a problem for us to not be able to win as cleanly anymore be able to do dragon as long as they start it preferably start it please hello can you it's 
How hard is it to just start a dragon? Do you really? You don't have to wait for me to start it, my guy. Jesus Christ. This dragon could have been easily like half HP by now. Probably dead by now. You know, it, it, all that little bit of time saves, you might like, oh, what, what's the difference? It's a colossal difference because the, the risk of it getting stolen is much greater. Finish my jungle item here, which is good. Level 11 sets. Potentially gonna run into a problem, maybe. I think actually it's gonna be very difficult for them to kill set. They're gonna have to do it with several people if they want to kill him. So highly unlikely to happen, I suppose. Go bolt lane here to help my Tristana. Silence and then just W drain. He's dead. We're starting to play towards the uh, towards the good situation there, so that's good. No jump, W jump or anything. Okay, well. I don't know. Maybe it was on cooldown. I, I don't think it was. I think she had the chance initially, but it could have been. Which is fine. Whatever. Not like uh, she was worth a shutdown, so one for tra one for one one for one trade is kind of whatever. Uh, there's no reason to build into the Zonias here, because I'm probably going to be able to hold on to the stopwatch for a while in this game specifically. Ooh, Seth could be dead here actually. And he's going to show up. Ah, is it there? I will never be able to make it to this place, so there's no point in me running there. Okay, now that's a good cleanup, it's fine. Start the Herald, I'll take the Herald here as well. Oh. Flip Sky. Interesting. The big thing for the Ka to get here, actually, is uh, the Shield Reaver thing. Against the set, that thing is insane. I would definitely look for it in his shoes. Like the Shield Reaver as a, uh, le uh, as, a uh, as a lethality item. They're gonna back, so I'm just gonna clear my camps. I could have walked up towards mid here, but if they're going to recall anyway, there's no point. Clear that. Use my Q to clear camps as well, by the way. Like, it's just a bunch of extra damage, extra speed. Just teleported to top lane, okay. I'm going to have to wait, basically, for my team to be back on the map. So uh, any camps here I can do is just fine, but uh... oh, actually ran out of it. I have to pull this thing back in a circle. Good. Now I'm just gonna look for ult angles. At this age in the game, you just wanna look for as many ult flanks as you can. If I can get a good one, that'd be great. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to just walk in here. Finish him off real quick. Because the, the fight was gonna be like right there, so if I could just walk it in there real quick and just get a nice fear with a rocket belt, I can finish it off. And use the Rift Herald here. Push mid. Look for a pretty good ult here, I would say. There we go. And an extra 160 as well. This is just, that's just all you have to look for as Fiddlesticks at this stage in the game. Like the early game was basically, you saw how it's done, right? For the most part. And then at this stage in the game, like mid to late game team fight stage, you just look for good ults like that. You can go in from the side, use your rocket belt, use your flash, use whatever to get in a good position to uh, get a good ult off. Let's go for the big bounces. And there's the FF vote. I would build a death cap into a Zonias into probably a Void Staff here for the final build. And yeah, that's it for Fiddlesticks. I'll see you guys in the endgame stats.
All right, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 10.7k, which is very respectable. I mean, setting any out damaging me is not very surprising. Probably me the most part, I won most lanes in the early game, like, completely. Which is uh, all I really care about. True damage at about 600. Damage to objectives at 33.5k, which is solid. Healing done at about 16.7k. We have damage taken at 23k. I actually took the most damage, really. Wow. Okay. Self-mitigated and another 13.1. Okay, so I definitely took the most damage here, which is uh, definitely something good for the team. Gold earned at 10.6. For the runes, first strike dealt about 650 damage and gave me 500 gold. Basically, from this point forward, at like after 20 minutes, this rune will stack up exponentially. Because as you saw with the last ult I did, right, in this game, uh, that was on a two-target situation with an ult, and it gave me 160 gold. Which is like kind of the majority of this compared to the rest of the first strike uses. So once the game go gets going from this stage, like after initially winning the early game, this is when you will rapidly start to gain first strike stacks based on the amount of ult you land. So you're going to easily get like two, 300 gold for every single ultimate additionally to the gold that you get from kills. So that's why this rune's really good for that. Like eventual tempo, not initial tempo, but more event like 20 minutes to 25 minutes. Between that time frame, you can easily get like a solid eight, nine hundred gold out of your ultimate if you get a, like one or two good ones, which is good. Ultimate hunter stacks for ult cooldown and then sudden impact for the damage when you ult into stuff. You can also go for the uh, cheap shot as well. It's like overall damage because then it works off of fear and stuff like that, which will help there. But the, I prefer the sudden impact slightly more due to the initial ult damage you'll be able to gain. But yeah, that's it for fiddlesticks. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.